Yo, so what's up? We're back again on these new blogs. Andamos para atrás en el nuevo video. So on this one, I'm going to try to translate. Voy a tratar de hablar en español en inglés para los que están, los que los ven de México. Para que miren, muchas gracias por su soporte. So everybody is watching me from Mexico. Appreciate your guys' support. Um, aquí atrás tenemos una 2016 GMC Sierra. Uh, que voy a trabajar en la suspensión que ya lo hice una vez pero cuando la trajo no me gustó la suspensión so, um, ya duraron que menos de un año se explotaron uh, los resortes o so, agarramos otra compañía que me, a mí me gusta usar um, so, ahorita les voy a enseñar la, la, las partes y si, y si quieren esos mismos resortes en sus trocas les voy a dejar el número también para que puedan ordenarlos Um, so basically what I said is that I'm working on a 2018 GMC Sierra from my boy um, Santiago from Built to Clown and uh, I have this truck here basically uh, we did a coilover conversion on the front about a year and a half ago but uh, he has right now Alden Americans the only problem with those Alden Americans that I personally don't like is that they were too short For the weight of the truck the spring rate wasn't there so when i saw them i was like hmm they're not really convincing me i didn't like the fact that they were too they were too small and we had to add spacers just to get the distance that we needed uh because adjusting the coil all the way didn't really do us anything so we got a hold of uh viking suspension this video is not sponsored hey vikings but if you're watching this my boy clifford sponsor us <laughs> that's actually uh the guy that we talked to his name is clifford from viking suspension Um, I'm gonna show you guys right now uh, the unbox video of it and then uh, if this is something you guys want to do uh, I guess this is the first uh, first type of uh, any colors that he actually uh, designed for this truck um, we put everything we needed the weight of the truck you know what's the length that we needed them we want them double adjustable um, so he hooked us up with all that so there is a couple of modifications that we need to do to the old setup As far as like the upper tabs, we need to drill them out. Viking suspension. Let me actually bring it out. And we're going to unbox it inside. And uh, yeah, uh, baby upgrades. We did do, um, he actually ordered these. I installed it for him, but I was going to make a video, but they were so fast to do. I didn't really make a video. And they're just pretty much seat covers, but they look clean. Um, so it ties in uh, with the interior. But you know, for that, let me take this out so I can unbox it. And he also brought uh, the front rotors. They're slotted. Rear rotors are slotted. We're also going to do a simple oil change, brake pads. Uh, we're going to replace the two uh, upper ball joints. Here's the part number. Uh, what else? What else? What else? A couple other miscellaneous things that right now when he gets here, oh, he wanted to repaint his calipers. Let's see what color he got. Hopefully we can get yellow. He was talking about getting them yellow. Let's see. Red, okay. <clears throat> so, let me take this out and let's unbox it. Let's see. Take the paper off. The good thing about these that I'm leaking right now, usually when you get Alden American or even QA ones, they don't even send you this. So I, I could appreciate this from a, from a company. Like I said, I like running these because on the OBS that I have over there, the one that I did the interior, there you go. Um, that one has Vikings all over. And ever since then, I like tire drive. And I always recommend everybody go with Vikings instead of QA ones. So I'm assuming these are the shocks. Here's the part number. There you go. So if you do want to order them, that's the, that's the part number. Here, take a picture. There you go. <clears throat> that's one of the coilovers, springs. The second one, same part number. We're gonna set this one in the bottom. What else is in here? The shocks. Let's take out these shocks. And these shocks are 13, 14 inches of travel, which is, we'll compare these to the Alden and we'll see. Here is the Viking part number right there. So we'll unbox this right now. Let me set this down. 
Here's the other one. On the top side, we'll set this one here. And we'll throw this box away. So now let's open these to see how they're gonna look on this. So let me uh, put the camera down and I'll show you guys. Okay, meet in. Here's a strap. Like I said, I could appreciate a good uh, shock. Double adjustable. Alton American does not give you double adjustment on that particular kit. I mean, you, I'm pretty sure you can. I just don't know um, how you're supposed to order them. But like I said, he got that kit and it didn't come with double adjustable. And the good thing about this, you could do how hard you want and then how or well, how stiff and how much uh bounce back you want so hey this is a good fucking part let's open these and if i'm not mistaken these are yeah 16 inches which this is a lot taller than that, which that's gonna make it a lot better. Um, those, I believe, there are 10 inches, and when it's fully compressed, it gets to like five and a half, which like I said, it's it's a rough drive. And they do come with uh, all the hardware, uh, the little sleeves, the top hat. Oh shit, hey, look. I was talking to to our to the CEO of uh, Vikings, and uh, he threw. He said he was gonna throw a little surprise inside, and this one actually comes with the bearing. So shit. So uh, whenever you're adjusting it, you know you have those bearings, and it moves it. I wasn't expecting that. So appreciate it, my boy Clifford. <clears throat> if you're watching this video, I'll tag uh, Viking uh, suspension. So hopefully they see it. Uh, like I said, uh, it's not sponsored, but hey, if you guys want to sponsor the channel, I'm all for it. Um, like I said, really, really good uh, made products, and I was not expecting this. So that's a plus. Um, here's the lock sleeve. Now let's see the spring. Always cut away from yourself. Never towards you. There's a spring rate. So, so we translate all this in Spanish. <laughs> so <clears throat> cada abrir la, la caja de, de la suspensión de la de la Viking. Um, y como estaba diciendo, la distancia de ese cuando se colapsa con la con la troca es de es de seis pulgadas y este lo hicimos de 16. Um, lo bueno que hablé con el dueño de la de la compañía. Y el señor se llama Clifford, como el perrito rojo. <risa> um, dijo que los fui a mandar un, una, una, algo es, uh, que, que no hacen. Pues vienen con este valero. Muchas suspensiones no vienen con este valero. Uh, te lo cobran separado. Um, y, y lo bueno que lo dio. No estamos, uh, no sé cómo se dice sponsor. Pero no estamos sponsor de ellos. Pero si, si, si ven este video, les vamos a decir a ver si, si los pueden dar algo para... Para, para um, poner en una de las trocas que estoy armando. Pero sí, con eso viene con todo. Viene con el lock piece. Viene con lo de, lo de arriba. Viene con el resorte. Como la señorita. Um, so, lo bueno de esta suspensión. Me gusta que tiene los dos ajustos uh, aquí. Que, que tan recio y arriba. Um, cupas para el morteador. So, como les digo. Esto me gusta más que, que el las otras uh, suspensiones que miro por ahí um, la, la Alton American que vino con este kit a mí desde el primer día no me gustó estaba muy chiquito lo levantamos todo lo que se podía y todavía así no era suficiente para levantar la troca como debe que ser um, la otra cosa es que el QA1 también es igual y esos a veces ni te mandan para ajustar 
la herramienta y como ven ahorita me mandaron esto es todo eh, es lo bueno que cuando hablas con, con alguien um, especial de la compañía les puedes decir todo lo que ocupamos so, cuando agarramos esto um, los mandó un papel para decir qué tanto pesaba la troca um, qué año era um, para qué lo estaban usando para carreras para para manejarlo todos los días le dijimos lo que ocupamos él los, ar, los armó esta suspensión especial para lo que lo estamos usando. So, um, ya que lo ponga, van a ver cómo quedó. Ahorita les voy a tomar un video. Pues voy a hacer el video de, de cambiando la suspensión. Cambiando todo lo que le voy a cambiar. Para que miren la diferencia. Y ahorita que venga mi camarada, pues le puedo decir un poco de la suspensión. Que la agarramos a lo que es. So... Um, si estoy platicando mucho en este video, nomás le estoy informando para que sepan. So, so, vamos a terminar este. Yeah? So, <laughs> since I had to translate and it beats me from doing two videos at once, honestly, um, I do have uh, people that watch from Mexico and uh, other other places. I, like I said, I truly appreciate everybody that, that recently subscribed to the channel. Um, I do these for you guys. You know, um, I like watching things like this. So, and whenever, whenever anybody uh, subscribes to my channel, I always look. Even if they have, uh, even if they don't have any YouTube um, videos up, uh, I hit the subscribe button. I like to support everybody. Um, like I said, honestly, I just like doing this, and uh, I'm trying to show you my passion. Uh, but, but that being said, right now I'm gonna assemble one of them. And I'm gonna wait till my boy gets here. So like that, we we'll go to to the store to get what we need, and then uh, I'm gonna jack it up. I'm gonna show you to take that we're taking off all the old suspension, replacing it with the new, and, and then we'll go from there. So let me put this down. Let me pick that that vehicle up, take off the tires, and let's get started. So I'm gonna put you guys so you can see how the struggle is real <laughs> when your springs don't work, and, uh, and you have to do two measures of steps just to lift it up. But here we go. There's a setup. We got this setup from Castle Manufacturer um, <coughs> suspension. So as you can see, they gave them he they gave him uh, all the American uh, coilovers. But uh, you can see how many space. Well, we use a lift uh, spacer uh, to pick it up because once again, these are too small. So I'm gonna take this one apart right now, and we're gonna measure both of them together. So let me get the tools that I need. I'll set you guys down and then uh, we'll get started. Look how short this is. Look how long that is. We're gonna be able to take the the spacers off and it's gonna give us the height that we want. So like I said, night and day difference. These Alton Americans, this is compressed all the way and it's still no good. So this is a side that it was blown. You can see all the residue of oil inside there. This is no good. 
This is what we're going to put together so, right now. Um, esto es el, el viejo. Los que acaba de quitar. Y este es el nuevo. La diferencia, ahí se ve. Que este está más levantado que este. So, por eso, estos de aquí, según que eran para esta troca, siempre no eran, eh. Estos, eh, aparte que están muy chiquitos, está levantado resorte todo lo que se pueda y todavía se colapsa mucho y no te da bien la suspensión como debe que ser. So, por eso, estos de aquí, los recomiendo, como les digo, no, no me están pagando para hacer esto, pero me gusta ver mucho estos motivadores. So, deja, lo, lo voy a armar para que miren la diferencia. So, I'm put it together. Um, first things first, we need to put the, the bottom key. And I'm going to put MTCs once I'm done. Right now it's just for mock-up purposes. So we have this. It does have a groove at the bottom that actually goes to the bottom. You want it to be flat on the top. Bring it down. Then we're gonna use the actual spring perch one, which is this one. This one also flat side. The bearing is gonna go at the bottom of this one. No, I forgot. The bearing does not go there. <laughs> the bearing goes on the top of the coil. If I were to put it here, this is the lock key. Um, it wouldn't lock. <laughs> so, like that. You have the spinning bearing there. With the coil, with the spring. We want the Viking logo, but the part number facing downwards. So, let me put it lower. Remember, we're gonna adjust this when the weight of the truck is gonna be on there. Then I'll put anti seize. This is just for mock up purposes right now. Mock it up. There you go. And you have the top sleeve. So the top sleeve goes in inside. There is a O ring right here that locks it. So you push down, you slide up, you lift the whole assembly up. Bam. And then you know, adjust this all the way to the top. So we we'll put it upside down. There you go. Fully assemble, double adjustable. Right now, we are gonna put the two sleeves. And they go on the top, just these two. And you have four lock rings. So we're gonna do that right now. Let me get the the two for this and I'll pick it up right Mira now. Vino. We're talking offline thought I was recording when he showed up and he didn't. I was showing him about the difference between the shocks. Hi what do you guys. got what do you gotta say? Alton? Uh, all, uh, first of all, Alden American all or is, Vikings suspension? All I gotta say now that I'm seeing the difference, Vikings. Well I got the kit, but I got they gave me those shocks. No wonder I mean they're always gonna give you the cheapest stuff because with the kits of anything that you buy honestly. And then you just gotta upgrade within time and it was my time to upgrade now so yeah i gotta you gotta pay to play so <laughs> i you know this is um this is the this is some good one and this is like more you can hella tell the difference look you know it's hella smaller and like this look at that it's more the the spring rate's heavier the shock uh -huh. is longer yeah so and then the, it has double adjustable mm -hmm. yeah this is like when they when they 
when they say, uh, ¿cómo dice? ¿Cómo dice? Oh, cuando dicen, don't, don't, uh, don't worry about, about him. him, he's just my friend. He's just my friend. <laughs> and then this and guy then, shows up. And this guy shows up. <laughs> 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 Great. <laughs> But yeah, um, homeboy's about to get down to business. Le traje mucho trabajo a esto, Lomaro. No rush, but I'll make him work. Little. But I'll be back on the road. Just be better than it was before. Yeah. Yeah. So ahorita nomás, I'm just going to finish to the side. And we're gonna go get we're gonna stuff. go get we're gonna some go to the boats that we need. He's gonna make me go bottom. waste more money. It's just paper, no? It's just paper. Pero <laughs> yeah, fuck. Eight hundred dollars que me gasté. So See? let me put 798. the. Seven ninety-eight. Should we show got. him how much Mr. we paid? Yeah, Mister from my boy Clifford, we called. Seven yeah? ninety-eight. We paid for ¿Cómo, that. ¿cómo se llamaba? Just, eh? ¿Cómo se llamaba? Clifford. Yeah. Uh, when I heard Clifford. Yeah. Whenever you guys want to order something from Viking. Search up uh, biking on on Google, and then it'll pop up, and then just call that number, and then ask for Clifford, yeah. and then tell them he'll give you a discount when, when from Haro Customs. When, when I heard Clifford, I for sure thought that it was a big Clif red dog. Big red dog. <laughs> <laughs> But let's so yeah, again. ya quité los bottom boats estos. Ahorita le vamos a quitar los spacers que tenemos acá dentro, porque ya no los vamos a ocupar. Taking out the spacers because we're not going to need them no more. So, this is the spacer that we had in there. And so with, now, with we that get... purchase of a thousand, you guys get a free sticker. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna uh, put this in the bottom. We're gonna mock it up, and then we're gonna go get the right grade eight bolts that we need. So let me mock it up. <clears throat> Show you guys. Ahí ya está más para abajo. I'm gonna put the shock right now, and then we're gonna see, measure the bolts, and then go back. Pendejo. What? Fucking scared me. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking guy. <laughs> My bad. Let me loosen this up right now. Um, this is what it's gonna look like mocked up. I'm gonna show you guys right now. But since I'm already here, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the ball joint that I already have. So let me replace that. But in the meantime, that he goes to pick up the other, we ordered, we got some washers, but I forgot that we needed them a little bit bigger. So that's what Santel went to go get right now. So for the meantime, I'm gonna take this uh, uh, ball joint out, and then uh, and then when he comes, I could just put everything up, mock it up if I like it. Make sure to put Loctite and everything, but get this in. So ahorita le voy a quitar el, el ball joint porque también está dañado de una vez que ya que está aquí lo vamos a quitar para que quede para que quede al 100 um, no más que agarramos la, los washers que no eran ocupados un poquito más grandes se fue a la tienda a agarrarlo so ahorita voy a quitar este reemplazarlo por lo menos que viene y ahorita os voy a enseñar cómo va a estar ahí adentro ahora sí The new one is done, new cutter pin. Here's the old one, okay. Eh? Lucy Goosey. So it's done, I quedó. This, so así va a quedar ya adentro. Ahorita I'm mocking everything up and then we're gonna place it inside. So let me do well, this. Like always, me, me adelanto. Es porque está buena la plática aquí plática con Quincy y Santiago. <laughs> so, I ended up putting everything, it works. Um, right now I'm tying the bottom bolts up. But uh, to mock up the other side, ya que quede, pues aquí mi camarada, he wants to paint the calipers. The calipers yep. And then we're gonna change the rotors. We'll pero, put, put slot in rotors, those yoyitos. But one, that time. one thing at a time. Lo que vamos a hacer is just make sure everything's tight. Porque no creo que se le salga de por ahí. No, no, yeah, ahorita no me lo interrumpan porque. He's explaining to you guys, but at the same time, I want everything to be tied up. 
no quiero hablarle, hey, my boy, todo quedó bien, pero me quedé sin llanta. <laughs> so, ahí está, that's the last one. Let me show you guys, can pick it up and show you how it's going to be. And then we just need to adjust the spring. Adjust the so, okay, done. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to adjust the preload. Porque the por the height is not going to, it's not going to, it's going to change whether it's going to be here or here. So I said in the top, um, when the alarm's at Clifford, we make sure that it was the height that we difference that we wanted. So once we put the preload there, we should be good on the height. Now, if the height for whatever reason does change, then all I have to do is change this one to the highest level. So like that, it gives you each one of this, it's an inch of drop. So I cost one inch, two inch, three inch. And then plus the control arms, uh, there are three inch lower control arms. And the other ones before we had to use a lift block, as you can see, because they were too short. Right now, we're gonna take out the rotors, uh, the disc, replace these, you brought slaughter ones. And we're gonna paint this, and then this side completely will be done. Uh, I'm gonna put preload on this a little bit, and then I'll do the other side, either today or tomorrow. No hay prisa, porque de todos modos, pues, He's been driving the other one as a daily, huh, my boy? I've been wasting $100 of gas on that one. <laughs> we need this one. I'm back on the road. But almost. I've been doing it for three months already. Let's va a poner otra vez. He bought his, his, his daddy hoochie pants today. So hopefully they don't ask him, what that PB do? I don't know. Peace. Ahorita le pone un clip ahí. He's always wearing hoochie pants. Who's your short time, boy? Okay, hit the shout out again. Oh, un saludo a mi compa. ¿Qué cómo se llama? Tony o Antonio? A Tony, huh? He watches your vlogs. He said he, next time he said he wants a you a shout out. He said I'll be waiting a shout out. So here's your shout out, my boy. <laughs> shout out to Antonio with that nice ass SS clone. So let me know whenever you catch whenever you want to catch me out for for Panda. It's just paper, my boy. You already know. <laughs> It's just not any more paper right now because I spent a lot of money here. So, let's get this done and over with because it already Made sure everything was tight and we put Loctite on it. So, I already did replace the ball joint. Let's take this off and it's going to be at 100. Let me get those parts. I'm going to pick it up right now. That's the second one. I mean, like I told you guys, look at the strip difference. Look how tiny that is. Mm-hmm. Y como ven, ese también está lleno de aceite. If you look inside there, ya está bien lleno de aceite. I don't know how good my camera is, guy, is today, but. Esto lo vamos a quitar. Ok, chingón. Son 19. Ahí sí me quieren hacer un sponsor con una silla, una mesa. Les mando la dirección para que lo mande. ¿Por qué quieres silla o mesa? Pues güey, para no estar agachado <risa> Que nos hagan A ver si Viking me hace sponsor a mí Porque vamos a buy the back Back ones too Right now we're back gonna coil. disassemble Everything in the, in the bottom And then we're gonna place everything <risa> Damn my boy, you buff Está bien. You buff You don't need no gym Hijo de su perra, man Nah, you're weak, way. No, mama. Never mind, you're weak. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ah, okay, okay. I take that back, my boy. You're strong. Ahí está ya. Vamos a darle con la... No, déjate eso. ¿Con qué? La Limpeg. ¿El Limpeg? You had it? You're the one that was assembling it, putting it together. Puro pinche Viking rifa, guys. <laughs> First it was out in America, now it's fucking Viking. No, Pero sea. pinche Viking rifa, guys. Pero vas a ver la diferencia, como voy. Cuando la manejes. Money well invested, dice mi camarada. Because he knows me that I get extra happy when I'm really. Because it's, you know, obviously you're going to get happy if that's what you want, what you're looking for. So, I'm looking to get that expression. No. Sure. When I drive it again. That's exactly what it's going to be. Because he knows, like, he knows me that I call him really happy. I'm gonna, like, hey, wait. That's just fucking badass. You're going to be like, hey, let's start the back. Hasta, like, hasta, you know? I'm like, where do you want my boy? Where do you want me to take you for lunch, my boy? Ah, ah. My boy deserves everything. <laughs> See? You want Texas Rojo House? 
si ves que el brushing Ajá. ¿Cómo quedó? Mira. Sí, mon. Se estaba punchando sí, mucho. Se estaba punchando mucho. Es porque como esto, la distancia que traes aquí, con el peso de la troca, no o se bajó hasta que la chingada. O so, ya andabas nomás en, en los puros bushings. En los puros bushings. Así. Mira, todo esa tierra. Uh -huh. Tierra. Todo el aceite es del shop. Por eso estos salten. Damn. Verga. Damn. You hear Harold Customs. Así de fácil. Entonces, let me assemble this y ahorita... Ahorita voy a picar up right now. Give me the old one. A ver, since my boy bought the kit from somebody. Ajá. Uh -huh. manufacturer, es que le den un warranty swap. Yep, hopefully. Eh, y pues si quieren a alguien, los vendemos todavía. Pero... Unos $500. <laughs> y los quieren. Usados, no. Nuevos, ya. ya como que semi ya. use, semi use. Yeah. For two years, semi use. Ya Nomás que... me aguantaron dos años. Ya que... Uh... Ya que le manden los nuevos, pues ya. Ándale. Yeah. I'll put them up for sale. I'll put them up for sale. Ya que me manden los nuevos. They'll be brand new, pues. They'll be brand new, but... I mean, it didn't work for my truck, but... For a lot of years, because... But if you have stock control arm, he said that they're yeah. good for that. If you have stock control he said it. Arms, he said it himself. They'll work. They'll work. So... But, um, the drop that but, he wants... But the best is biking. And for the drop that I have... Yeah, for the drop that you no want... No me sirve a mí. No te sirve. But if you don't have, if you don't want it that's that low, the work. Mm -hmm. But my boy always likes everything. Suelo mama boy low. If you ain't tucking, we ain't fucking. Como ese sticker. <laughs> Te va a regañar, güey. Ah, no pasa nada, my boy. I hope not. <laughs> I didn't say nothing ah, bad. I just said that's how the sticker says. Te va a hablar, güey. No, yo, they're already calling you, my boy. <laughs> they're calling you. No. A mí no me pegan. A ti, sí. There's nothing wrong, my boy. That's what the sticker says. Interest for sale, too. The whole truck, too. So, I can go. Now we're just going to put this on the other side. And then we'll finish one side. Y ya se está agarrando tarde, ya está pegando hambre. We're gonna finish this side. Obelistically, Sorry, we're done. almost done. We're almost done with the front. Porque ya nomás le hace falta the control arm, putting this back, replacing the. How about you guys can see it there, pero. They can see it. Almost ready. Right now we're you gonna. You got the best cameraman. Right now we're Here. gonna finish tying these, and then we'll finish tying the bottom. And then we'll be good. Yo. Piensa que le... Piensa que lo estoy, que lo estoy haciendo el trabajo de grabarlo gratis, pero de aquí le vamos a descontar a lo que me va a cobrar. Hoy. <laughs> Ahorita te voy a hacer famoso, eh, cause you're holding a, the camera, eh? My boy, yeah, I'm gonna get famous, my boy. Yeah. So I don't wanna get famous, my boy. I wanna get money, my boy. They're well, gonna pay me? Well, so if you put a TikTok up right now. Uh-huh, they're gonna pay me? They're gonna oh, pay yeah. you. Pa' que quiero la fama, dice la canción, prefiero yo el dinero. <laughs> mi carrito deportivo, pero mi mamalona deportiva. <laughs> La tierrona. Okay. Bueno, vamos a poner esto aquí. Y nomás le vamos a dar una idea porque mira, no traigo un canapé y me estoy quemando la espalda. No se vaya a quemar, está muy no, negro no, el cabrón. No, no. no le hace nada el sol a este camarada. Ya ni yo que estoy negro, no moreno. Quiero, no me quiero poner prieto, güey. Los prietos son los más guapos. Hoy. <risa> Ponte prieto. No, ¿eh? no, no, nada de eso. No, nada de eso. Mm -mm. Ese, your skin tone es más delicado no, que los prietos, los prietos no les pasa nada, no. nomás se ponen más morenos. Por eso, eso es lo malo que. Sí, te vas a poner como un gancito marinela, <laughs> my boy. ¿Eh? O oh, como yo. Ya. Yeah. So ahorita nomás we're gonna tie the bottom up. Uh -huh. And then uh, we'll finish the other side porque acá va a estar muy caliente. So we'll pick it up when we're on that side right now. But pretty much this side is pretty much done other than doing this. But once again it's too hot. Y we're not gonna do that right now. Mm -hmm. Yep, Vamos. the shade over there. Oh. Nice. What's next? What's next? Like we got what we got right here, my boy. 
slot and rotors. Slotted rotors. All with the old and with the new era. Cubo. Ahorita no vamos a agarrar un torque set. Cubo. Cubo, guys. Para quitar ese. Para que se mire bien perrona en los intros, mira. Eh? Sheesh, I'm excited. No, tan chingones. Depending. I'm already gonna say money well worth spend because it's gonna it's already looking sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, eso es que no la manejado, eh? No, y ahorita lo vamos a dejar que pinte los rollers para que miren. <laughs> Como este, pinto. Este güey no se puede ni quedar entre medio de las líneas. <laughs> Como pinto. I paint hello professional. Hey, professional. Oh, okay, okay. No, no les he, no les, nomás han mirado en mi story y los voy a enseñar las seats. Oh. We got rain in tears, guys. Blog, you, you what? Yeah, ya lo vi en el report, but you can do it anyways. Órale. Oh, show. show? You already done it? Custom See custom interior, guys. Qué obo. Matching, matching my center console. Ahí va. Ahí va la cosa. What else are we going to do? More stuff to it. But first, right now, it's maintenance. That's maintenance, basically, what he's doing right now. Because that's, he really needed all that. Y no me vayas a salir que no son. Oh, no, al puro putazo. Puro pinche chingadazo. Let me know for your guys' custom interior. I got the plug. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, it actually looks hard. So, ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es le vamos a dejar esos brake pads porque we're going to end up painting. ¿Verdad? So, ahorita lo voy a poner para atrás and then we're going to tape everything que no vamos a querer pintar para pintar este. Ya que se seque, we'll take it off, we'll put the new brakes y va a quedar así. What do you think? I like it. Hell yeah. Oh, it's just going to look hella hard because look at that. It's red. And silver. And it's silver. Oh, it actually looks hard. Oh, it matches. It matches my coils. Yeah. Damn, it's just hard. Hard, hard. Ahí está pintado. Yo. Está que se seque. Le cambiamos los las balatas. We we'll change the brakes, and then this whole side will be done completely. So, ya los íbamos a meter, pero my boy dijo, oh, let me do the oil change. I won't get no, no I, I don't ever leak any oil. Mira como está la pinche mano llena de aceite. Mira la pinche, co hey, y todo. <laughs> y, y todo falta, y el, todo falta el pinche filter. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was, wait. Mira, mira nomás. Ay. <laughs> Pinche <laughs> Santiago, te pasaste delante. Hey, you gotta make the video funny, my boy. Ay, güey. Uh, y no, y luego le traes marcado part, hasta. Part of the show, guys. Le traes hasta marcado el filter, ¿eh? ¿Para cuál lado se hay que quitar? Yes, sir. Y todavía te confundes, dices. Left or tidy righty or tidy whitey. Tidy whitey. <laughs> <laughs> lefty whitey, left righty righty. Right. <laughs> lefty Lucy, righty lefty, tidy. Lucy, lady, oh, yes, tidy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I quedó it. Oh, shit. I quedó the new rotors. Put it <laughs> on those brake pads and the new ro uh, new rotors, new Mas brakes. Chingon. Quedó chingón. Right now we're going to finish this. And hopefully this guy don't fucking make another big mess. <laughs> and you actually use that carpet to fuck it in the floor. Yellow trae está lleno de aceite. Sad. No, no. Chingalán trabajando. Con aceite, mamá. Y dice cómo me miro. ¿Eh? Mira cómo está la pinche cara llena de aceite el cabrón. Un vato trabajador. Es puede, lo que raza. hace cuando está trabajando el cabrón, se, lo, se mete a trascar. Un vato trabajador puede, Raza tiene que andar mugroso y, como yo. Y se la si pasa. No, no. ¿Eh? Se la pasa vato, bien sentado el cabrón. Un vato trabajador, pero una troca perrona, una cerrona chingona. <risa> ¿Eh? y, y he's una like cerrona it. chingona. Ya, ya este güey, bueno, he, he gets any stickers, ya se pone a poner stickers en todos lados. <laughs> he's like, le, he's like, I'm gonna put this in my, in my, in my forehead. They can always. Aquí ponlo mejor. I gotta start representing. Pero sí, boy. mira. Eh? Ahí va la pinche aceite. A ver si no lo tira. A como, si no la tiro, este como heavy. tiró un pinche tiradero de aceite allá abajo. Mira. Don't make ah, me know. Stop. <laughs> Stop shaking. <laughs> Go there, my boy. <laughs> 
En el fondo, güey, en el fondo, güey. Why are you holding it backwards, <laughs> forward? Oh, Mira este. Sad. Ya, hijo de la you. chinga, no. Mírate, güey. I gotta make the funny, the uh, video funny, my boy. Sal. Day two, working on la mama whiskey. I'm not gonna bore you guys with me installing everything on that side because you guys already saw me, what I did on the other side. And if I do, this video is probably gonna be like, like six, seven hours and I gotta edit quite a bit. But yesterday you guys saw that I had already put the shocks in, the new coilovers on the Viking ones. So right now I'm just gonna change the upper ball joint and replace the rotor and the brakes. So that's what I'm gonna do off camera. And then we'll do the back rotors and brakes and then we'll adjust the height to make sure everything is good. Adjust the preload and the rebound to make sure that the drive drives al cien. Um, but yeah, let me get this started. And I'll pick you guys right now when it's in the floor. All right, my boys, all done. New ball joints. Everything is tight. Right now, we're gonna put the wheels, adjust the collar, and then we'll see the height. So let me put the intros on. I thought I was recording <laughs> when it went down, but it didn't. But what I'm telling you about you guys, don't sleep on these Vikings. Like I said, they're not paying me to promote their business at all. But from the ones that I installed already, this by far is the best coilover that gives you uh, shock travel. Uh, just take my word for it. Once, he, once my boy drives it, he's gonna be like, yep. So let me show you now the travel in between both of the springs and the shock before it was minimum. Right now, we have all the room we want. If you can see the shock distance from there to there, it is two and a half inches. And I haven't even put any preload on this spring yet. So once it settles, it's gonna be what my boy wants. Show you guys on this side. And then we still have the dampener. So it's not gonna let it go any lower than that. And the shock travel now is straight compared to before. So yeah, this is by far some good stuff. So right now I'm gonna tie everything up, go take it in a test drive. So let it uh, settle. And then it should be exactly where we had it before. So let me do just that and we'll finish the back and call this Mama Lona a wrap. Take the back drums to put the slaughter in new brakes. And then I already took it on a little test drive and the shock settled. So it's a lot lower than it was before. I'm gonna add a little bit more preload and then uh, we should be good. So let me let me take this apart and put the new ones. And I'll show you there's nothing that could always not be smooth. Since the caliper, this differential is narrowed, it hits on this side. So what I had to do is remove the U-bolt to lift it up to loosen the flip kit for able to take off that 18. <laughs> so now let's replace the rotor. Like always, this fucking guy comes and complains, guy. Okay? Guy, wait on the end. Come hit this, Andy? No seas mamo. Come hit this? Hasta la verga, recuerdo acá, güey, no seas mamón. ¿Cómo dijiste? I'm sorry. No, en chivato. <laughs> so, as you can see, I have the preload not set. So, ahorita cuando la manejé, it settled, and I thought it was going to be higher than it was. The good thing about it is that we still have one more adjustment. So, each one of these holes is an inch. Uh, once it goes 26, and I set this preload where it needs to be at, uh, we'll put it on the, on the highest setting. So that would be, on the top of my head, I, I don't remember the measurements, pero ahorita I'm gonna set the preload a little bit tighter. And then on the dampener, lo voy a aflojar. So, para que quede al 100. Let me fucking, ah, cabrón. La pinche. My boy, you gotta be on camera. They just don't wanna see the parts, my boy. They want to see the cutie the, who's doing the job. No, okay. Nice. <laughs> huh. What's up? 
Show them how we show, show them how you tighten up the coilovers. Let's get them flowing. Yeah. Ahorita se lo voy a apretar. Le voy a dar como unos. I'm gonna measure it. Mm -hmm. yes. Para que quede chingón. Que te va a gustar. Mira, that's how loose it was. You can do it yeah. right here. So ahorita va a quedar chingón. But then again, I don't want to tie it too much either, because luego vas a estar chingando. The truck is not low enough. The truck is not low enough. I just wanted how it was, even right now. How, how it was right now when you had it. That's it. Yeah, no, yeah, so that's all it was. I just wanted just a little bit of preload. Mm -hmm. And then once the truck, when the truck settles, you should be good. Tampoco we can't do too much. Eh, eh, no, pues. Mm -hmm. You want to be in camera too, Doris? <laughs> Usually I don't get visits. In the weekdays, they always come on the way. You think I'm quiet. You <laughs> <laughs> me something? Yeah. The only visit I come is the owner of the truck. Pero. Es corto el güey. No, nada. Ponte me. <coughs> so, as I said, I don't. I want to have enough preload, but not enough that where the truck's gonna lift. So we'll try it there. Ahorita lo hago una measurement de aquí al otro, and then we'll set it the same. And then uh, the rebound. Ahorita que lo manejamos. Well, since I picked it up a little bit, let me go about two turns. One, two. Like right that. All right, pick it up. Okay. All right. So ya vino este cabrón. Ahorita, he's gonna try the Papi. truck for the, for the first Papi. time. Ah. Papi, my ah. boy. Boy. Papi, boy. Pendejo. We're gonna test it out to see si quedó mamalón. Vuelta la mamalona. And what do you have to say about no cap way? No cap. This is not a sponsor video, like I said. What do you think of the difference between both of the both of the pullovers that you had from the first one to now? Okay, guys, I'm gonna be serious, you know. No cap, no bullshit aside. Um, from the first coilovers that I had to these, this is really the best. Like, I like it. It's really well worth it. Like, it's worth it the price that you're spending, the money that you're spending on it. So if you guys want to go with a uh, biking that I recommend you guys biking first and rather pay a little bit more, like almost 200 bucks more, mm -hmm. honestly, yeah. that's what I paid honestly, like 200 bucks more, uh, but it's worth it and give it a shot and no, um, it won't leave you like disappointed. disappointed. It's really, it's really worth it. Honestly, I'm happy because I'm happy because ahora si ya hasta las, hasta donde quiera llevarme la silueta ahora fucking. <laughs> Hasta Las Vegas, hasta donde sea. It's the daily, you know. So fucking, okay, I'm I'm ha I'm happy that I bought everything on it. It's uh, but it's maintenance, pues, cosas que necesitaba. So, yeah, but true. my coils were already messed up. So I had to buy new ones. So he said, go biking, go biking. And I was like, well, let's do it, you know. Let's make it happen. And just little by little, but you'll get it. But you'll be happy. I'm happy. 
And my boy already know, just happy for his work that he gets down to business. So, aquí, pues, I'm not happy that he finished the job quick, porque todavía ya no tengo dinero, pero pues, <laughs> <laughs> but that's not my problem, that's not his problem, right? <laughs> pero, yeah, yeah guys, uh, go biking. Biking is the way to go on your guys' trucks. Yeah, so see, Butch so, aside. so the good Get thing that. about it now, it's actually where it's supposed to be. Um, the other thing is that no matter all I had to do is just move the rebound just a little bit more. But realistically, I didn't even have to move it because no. the steering wasn't shaking. It was fucking perfect. But mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit just harder rebound. So whenever se pega on top it, porque this guy likes to do some fucking stunts. Este güey le gusta brincar over top. Me gusta manejarla como se maneja. Hey, hasta like 80, tropea. Fucking 85 Tropea hasta gatito la otra vez, tropea un gatito y le hace, hey, they were, they were honking because they say, what's up? No, güey, y ves llevar un pinche gatito sobre encima. Todo lo que ah. se atraviesa se me, me llevo. No se me atraviesa en la mamalona. So, so I think that's why the shocks messed up, güey, porque te llevaste el gatito, güey. <laughs> no, por ahí quedó. Yeah. Ahí está. Like I said, so like that when we said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next time. Shee, bueno.